Uh, could you explain to us, Michael, a little bit about the work that your father did, the pioneering work, really, in the area of probiotics? Sure. Uh, Dr. Kem Shahani uh, came to the United States in uh, 1947, actually, and uh, he, he uh, worked in uh, the, dairy, uh, the dairy manufacturing and, and dairy technology areas in, in universities. And in 1957, he's, he got a position at the University of Nebraska at Lincoln, and when he got there, he noticed that there was some existing research by some scientists from the 1920s on L. acidophilus, lactobacillus acidophilus, a particular bacteria found in, uh, uh, in some kinds of fermented foods. And he was very interested by this, and he started to compare different kinds of these, what are called lactic acid bacteria, mm -hmm. look at their properties, look at what they did. Uh, you know, these are very... Um, prominent in, in fermented foods like mm -hmm. yogurts, sauerkraut, those kinds of foods. Mm -hmm. And he discovered that they have some pretty interesting properties that they actually give, uh, uh, the bacteria themselves actually give the human body a lot of benefit. Mm -hmm. So he started doing research and in 1959 he isolated a particular strain of Lactobacillus acidophilus that he called DDS1. Uh, DDS standing for Department of Dairy Science which is what it was called at the University of Nebraska at that time, the Department of Dairy Science, dash one, meaning the number one performing strains. He had mm -hmm. DDS this and DDS that. Mm -hmm. DDS number one, or DDS one we call it today, was the number one performing strain of Lactobacillus acidophilus that he isolated in 1959. Now, one of the properties of that, or maybe one of the main properties of that particular strain uh, has to do with its uh, ability, its, its um, uh, stability, and so on. Could you explain you that? A lot of different about? properties. He found that it, uh, it was a very fast-growing strain. It was a very hardy strain, meaning it didn't die quite so easily as the other strains. And it produced uh, more of the beneficial properties that we find coming from these kinds of bacteria than many other strains. Um, it, he found that it produced B vitamins and folic acid in mm -hmm. the body. It produces lactase and other enzymes. Lactase is the enzyme that helps us to metabolize um, lactose, the sugar found in milk. He found that it um, boosts the immune system. He found a lot of number of other very interesting beneficial properties that uh, this lactobacillus acidophilus is able to, to give to people. Thank you, Michael.